Good afternoon. I come to you today not as the commissioner of the CHFFL, but as the founder, co-owner, and head coach of the Coruscant Younglings. This press release is a message directly to the Coruscant fan base about our team's position halfway through the season. Now I know with mixed expectations entering the year, we should be very happy to be 4-3. and three. We've amassed a very talented roster, and we'll be having some players return from injury to make us even better. I know that the fans at this point rightfully expect this to be a team that pushes for the playoff and a possible championship run. However, our coaching failures have not let us reach our maximum height. While we've gotten the talented players to our roster, specifically at the tight end position, we have failed to get the most points out of this team that we can. After drafting Hayden Hurst, we picked up Jonu Smith in week two, and we have what we feel are two solid tight end options. However, this chart represents the five weeks where the coaching staff had to choose between starting Hurst or Smith. You can see the points left on the bench by week started out at four and four, but then when Hurst scored two points in the starting lineup and Smith scored 21 on the bench, it took a very sharp downturn. In total, in five weeks, five chances to pick the tight end, we've left 51 points on the bench. This is not sustainable if we're going to be a top team, and I know the fans have been calling for there to be a change. So effective immediately, co-owner and assistant coach Derek McElvain is being promoted. He will take over the lead role as tight end coordinator, whereas before we had a 50-50 split where I would have final say on who started at the tight end position, Derek now will trump me, and he's going to lead us into the future. He's going to get us all the points that we can. The fan base should be rest assured that we are doing everything possible to bring the good people of Coruscant a championship. Thank you for watching.